You want to put these on or not? You hear a lot better with it. You don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to. You can tell how close you are to the mic with it. Hmm. You can pull that to you if you need to. I forgot to turn his on. Here we go. Three, two, one. Boom! And welcome to the Big Honker Podcast Football Pick. I'm brought to you by Mitch Hall, Chevrolet in Haskell, Texas. I'm Jeff Stanfield with the world-famous Andy Shaver. Once again, you you have one too many dogs, and on oh, any given day, I don't know which one it is. Oh, Ollie dog. Oh, Ollie dog. Just jumped off the top rope right as we were recording. Right as the intro was ending, Ollie hops off of the chair that he was on. And proceeds to bark. <laughs> For no apparent reason. None at all. I don't think he likes you. Yeah. It's mutual. Okay, here we go now. Pick them. We had a terrible week. Who did? Me and you both. How bad? I know I got my lock. I took Baltimore. You went... If you got your lock, you did get your lock, so I gave you one more. So you actually are behind me by two now. That's all I needed to know. Uh, Arturo went 14 and 2. Ooh, damn, Arturo, Max. That's some big, big shoes to fill. Jose, Snacks, whatever we call him. It's, it, but he done hit a hell of a job. He's at the guests are now leading 109 to 45. Andy's in third at 104 and 48, and I'm 106 and 48. So here we go. We're going to start well out. Well, within striking distance still. All right. <clears throat> First game of the year. Of the year. Huh? Oh, our guest is Mr. Max Bolin. How are you doing, Maxine? Good. Getting fun so far this year? Oh, yeah. Been a good time. You're a killing son of a bitch. You only kill. What do you say? You only shoot big shit, right? Yep. Only kill trophies. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. DC at Philadelphia. Thursday night. Thursday night football. That'll be a good game on Thursday night. Yeah. Redskins blew one against Pittsburgh, but I'm happy with Jaden Daniels as my quarterback of the future. He's a baller. He is. He's. I, I, I'm a lot happier than you, Cowboy fans are with your uh, quarterback. It's a rough year for the Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> and you are a Cowboy fan. Is a yeah. good. You love the Cowboys more than I know. Yep. I mean, like it ruins your day on a Sunday, don't it? It ruins my day on a Monday too. I have to wake <laughs> up. <laughs> Do you think Jerry Jones should close the curtain? Uh, they close it for concerts. That's and what stuff. I'm saying. Yeah, the curtains are there. Yes, curtains are there. They like, need he to close have to do it. anything. All he's got to do is pull it. Yep. They he need got to close he, it. He got on that reporter's ass. We know which way the damn sun's going down. I, I guess we should just tear down the stadium. I don't say. understand why they built it like that. I, ju I just I don't get that. I mean, if you're going to have a dome, basically, which it is. Why the hell would you? Does that roof even retract there? It don't retract, yes. does it? Yeah. It, oh, it is retracting. Like kind of half, half of it. But why would you do that? Like just leave it as an indoor stadium, and it's Texas. But make it where you can. I, 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 to me, it's stupid. I've always thought that on the afternoon yeah. games. The morning games don't matter. Night games, it doesn't matter. But close the curtain. Those three thirty games are tough. It wouldn't make no difference in that game, though. No. It would give me some more points in fantasy, and I'd won another game. So <laughs> it did fuck me, too. So fuck you, Jerry. Okay, DC at Philly. You got to pick first since you're leading, Max. Yep. Okay. Guess sir. Uh... Oh, I'm going to Commanders. Uh, it would break my kid's heart to go with the Commanders, even though Mr. Texas, Texas Tech is there, obviously, because the Commanders are now relevant. Uh, all Cliff Kingsbury. He has done a good hell of a job. As he, I'll give him that. He's mm -hmm. a better coordinator than he is a head coach. People just need to know their roles. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. He's a coordinator. But I'm going to take the Philly Eagles. It sure is nice being a Redskin fan when they're relevant again. Mm -hmm. um, we got Trump back in office. We need to change the thing back to the Redskins. Bring old John Riggins <laughs> back. Put the diesel in the backfield again. Let him run the ball some. Oh, Jalen Hurts. Is, I'm going to go with Washington. I'm going to go with my boys. Hell to the Chief. I'm going to take the skins also. Second game, Green Bay at Chicago. Chicago has hit rock bottom. Can't Ooh. score points anymore at all. Maybe they need to hire Kingsbury. All right. Effort Flusen or whatever his name is is on Eber the way. Fluce. He's on the way out if he nope. don't win some games. They said he's coming back next year. Our owners already said it. Well, the owner should. I mean, you, you got you can't fire a guy after two years, but he's got his quarterback in there. Caleb Williams looks like the guy that paints his fingernails and hugs his mom when he loses. He does right. not look like he's got yeah. any bottom to him at all. Who are you taking? Packers. Yeah, Packers. That's, that's my gonna lock. be my lock. God too. dang you, Maxwell. <laughs> all right, y'all. I'll do a different that's lock. I'll do a different lock. Read my mind. I'm gonna take Chicago and upset. I got to make up some ground from last well, week. 
Still a lot of season left here. Jeff. It is. Jacksonville at Detroit. Uh, God damn. Lions 14. <laughs> Lions. Give me the Lions. That is my lock. And that's my lock, too. Las Vegas at Miami. Miami. Two, two is back, and they're playing pretty good now. Uh, Yeah, give me the Dolphins. Dumbass shouldn't be trying to tackle people, though. No. <laughs> The L.A. Rams against New England. Rams. Rams. Yeah, I need to gain some ground, but ain't that stupid. Cleveland at New Orleans. Which hmm. team shows up for either one of them? Hmm. Jameis Winston's going back home. One point. Saints. I'm going to Saints. Give me Jameis. I just, I don't know. Cleveland. Got a I'm, I'm going to take. Fuck. Cleveland looked like New Orleans looked like dog crap the last four or five games. And last week they beat Atlanta. Uh, Cleveland's defense hadn't showed up all year long. I'm going to take New Orleans. Taysom Hill's going to have a big game, I bet. Baltimore at Pittsburgh. This ought to be a football game and a half. If you like old fashioned mm-hmm. slobber knocker, John Madden football, this ought to be it. All they need is some rain and mud to make it complete. Who you got? Ravens. Yeah, Ravens. I'm taking Pittsburgh at home. They they win at home. They're really, I mean, somehow they got beat by Dallas in the rainstorm, and that was it. Yeah. Other than that, they've played excellent football. Russell Wilson looking like he's playing with Seattle again. Pittsburgh. Minnesota at Tennessee. Now, Baltimore, did Baltimore win last week? Who'd they play? They played Cincinnati. They played Cincinnati. Yeah. 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 That was a, a bullshit face really, mask call that didn't get called. Game, though. Yeah. It was a good game. Yeah. Every time it's a primetime game, there's a fucked up call that costs somebody in every damn game. Minnesota at Tennessee. Minnesota. Vikings. Minnesota. We're all taking the same upset. I know that already. (laughs) Oh, are we? (laughs) Oh, I promise you we are. Indy at the Jets. Oh. Indy. Anthony Richardson's coming back. Yeah, even though he's playing. Yeah. Okay. Andy. Jets. I just can't. I just Anthony Richardson is terrible. I'll take the Jets, but I don't blame Andy. They should play him and see if he's got what it is. And Jets draft him have been horrible. Though, they this have year. been terrible. Bad, Va- bad, bad. Just yeah. horrible. Do you bring Aaron Rodgers back if you're the Jets? They said regardless, they're going to have I think forty million dollars in dead money next year, whether he plays or not. So you're bringing him back. <laughs> you're hoping. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking <laughs> you hope he comes back if you got to fucking pay him regardless. He's going to come back if they offer it to him. So you, if you were the general manager, you wouldn't move on. You'd bring it back. You have forty million dollars of dead money. I understand the dead money part. So what else are you going to do? I would draft a quarterback. Well, hundred percent, I'd draft okay. a quarterback. But would you be comfortable as a Jet fan? Not talking dead money. Do you want? Do you want Aaron Rodgers back as your quarterback next year, Jets, or does he need to retire? I would bring him back for one more year. I'd retire his old ass. I'd bring it back another year. Would you? Well, a year off his Achilles. Yeah. Well, that's the second year makes a difference. Yeah. Be a mentor. And, 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 find and, and, get a quarterback for the future. Hopefully he'll he'll you know. Yeah. And, and to be honest with you, they've lost three games because of fucking Greg Zarline, the kicker. Yeah. I mean, so they they actually have three. That that's a big difference. But they just do not look in sync. They look terrible. No. But Brees I mean, Hall. I drafted Brees <clears throat> Hall. Yeah. I, yeah I did sorry too. for the Jet fans for doing that to y'all. I've always said I don't understand why you fire a coach in the middle of the season. As I, much as you hate uh, McCarthy, I don't. You don't gain anything by firing a coach. I think all it does is upset your. I don't the, hate McCarthy. The, I hope no, he comes no, no, back. No, no, no. I know yeah. Max wants yeah. to see him. But. I hope y'all extend him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, I it, would they fire him like week four or something like that? It hadn't helped him at all. I mean, I just I'm against it. Yeah, it, I'm against it. It, it. it hasn't. I don't know if there's ever a situation in the NFL where they fired a coach and halfway it's worked through the season. Out. Oh, hey, we're. Going to the Super yeah, Bowl. I, I don't think at all. Atlanta. And what's funny is every coach that gets fired halfway through season, some other dumb franchise hires them like it's going to yeah. change thing. Not the only coach that ever got fired that turned out to be good somewhere else is Belichick, probably. Atlanta at Denver. Atlanta. Denver. Denver's a lot better football team. They should have beat the Chiefs last week. The mm-hmm. Taylor Swift put the black magic voodoo on them. That was my upset, too. Yep. I'm taking Denver also. Seattle at 49ers. 49ers. Niners. Niners. Are the Niners the best team in the NFC, or they just get more press than anybody else? 
they're Brock, not as good as they have been in recent years. I, I think that's true. Brock Purdy is really he's a really good, good quarterback. He yeah. don't get near enough. Everybody just talk, oh, he's a game manager. He's a baller. Yeah. He's a real good guy. Would you trade Dak Prescott for Brock Purdy? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I've already picked the Niners, right? Okay. Everybody's taking this as their upset at best week. I'm taking <laughs> Kansas City's my upset since they're not favorite. Yep, that's my upset too, Kansas City. Bills. Ooh. I think this is the year. I think if, this is the year Josh I, Allen gets over the hump of Patrick Mahomes. If Amari Cooper was healthy, I would I would be all over Buffalo because I think Buffalo has a better roster. They need some weapons, though. They do. But so does Kansas City. I mean, you traded for D-Hop. I mean, he's not... He's game changer. No, he, no, he's his days are behind him. They're yeah. missing Rasheed Rice. Their defense is phenomenal. Kansas City's got the best defense in football. How is this not a primetime game? Which one? The Chiefs Bills. It'll be the three thirty game. The or do you think the net? Or do you think the local networks are like, listen, that's always a fucking nighttime game. Give us it in the three thirty block. They they did that because it was the three thirty, and they do a prime game over three thirty also. CBS or NBC gets to pick a prime time, or ABC or whoever. CBS, CBS. And Fox gets it every every other week. They get the prime three thirty game. Last week it was Philadelphia and Dallas for some reason, because they when they when they set this up because we're not the schedule's not flexing yet. Yes, it is. It is flex I schedule think. now. I don't think it starts flex scheduling until after Thanksgiving. I think December's when they start flex scheduling. Otherwise, they would not be having Cincinnati and San Diego playing Sunday night. Right. That's not a terrible game, huh? Bengals, Chargers? I'd rather have Kansas City and Buffalo. Yeah. 100%. Or Seattle or 49ers? Or Baltimore and Pittsburgh? I mean, I can think of a lot of games. <clears throat> How the hell they got Washington and Philly playing on Thursday night? Because usually, well, last Thursday night was a really good game, too, but it don't happen all the time. A lot of times it's ugly games. played last Thursday. What did Cincinnati and Baltimore play on Thursday night? Or was that yeah, Sunday night? Yeah. That was Thursday night game, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. I got mixed up the Monday yeah. night game. Okay. The NFL flexible schedule for 2024 season begins in week five and continues through week okay. 17. I didn't know that. I can't believe someone took uh, Cincinnati. Can be flexed twice between weeks five and ten. And then it's at the Okay. <clears throat> I think you I think they can only make two moves between week five and week ten. And then from week eleven to week seventeen, it's at the NFL's discretion. Okay, that's what it is. It because Cincinnati and San Diego both San Diego's got a chance in a playoff spot, or the Chargers, <clears throat> not San Diego. But Cincinnati's record, they're like they're on they're like the Jets. They're on fumes, aren't they? Well, they started out like 0 and 3, didn't yeah, they? What, yeah, what's what is Cincy's record right now? Oh, I don't know. I mean, it's not very good, like two and twelve or something. Mm. I mean, it's not that much because they haven't played that many games, but I'm gonna look and see real quick what they're I think Cincinnati <clears throat> how many games have we played now? Ten? Yeah. They might have had a buy. Did did you pick Max? Where are we at? Uh, Chiefs, Bills? No. Bengals, Chargers? Bengals, Chargers. Bengals, Bengals, Chargers. I was looking for the Bengals record. Cincinnati is four and six, and San Diego is... San Diego is six and three. So, both... The Bengals got a shot still. So, who do you got? Give me the Bengals. Chargers. Give me the Bolts. I'm going to have to go with Cincy also. Okay. And the game we're all worried about, the Houston Texans, who have not been that good this year. They're six and four against the Dallas Cowboys with Cooper Rush. Does that make you say Cooper Rush? Are you not one of these people who's a Cooper guy? No. I'm still riding with Dak. You just need to give him some weapons on offense. Uh give me the Texans. <laughs> Easy. I know that hurt. <laughs> yeah. I know that hurt. <laughs> Andy. Uh Texans, yeah. Is Jeff going to give up a game being down like he is? I got to take Houston. I can't do that. <laughs> but I, I'm going I'm I'm to th talk about the Cowboys for a minute. Big rumor is that Cowboys are going to try to tank for the rest of your year at Dion. I don't think that's a good tanking move. I Dion mean, at and all. Shador. And Shador. I, I damn sure wouldn't want to head coach in a quarterback that's his son. I think that's bad, bad medicine. Shador's coming out now. He's only going to play for a few teams. Buddy, you're not either. You're going to play whoever the fuck drafts you. Yep. You ain't, there is no guy that's a billionaire owner of the NFL that is fucking intimidated by Deion Sanders at all. Mm -mm. Or I don't think they are. There's only so many teams that need a quarterback in the first round. It's a very small window. The Giants, Carolina, uh, Tennessee, New Orleans maybe. 
Yeah. Derek Carr started out hot. But yeah, but he's. But I mean, yeah. I don't. I can't think of another team in the NFL that needs a first round quarterback that's going to go going to mortgage the farm for one. And if I was the New York Giants, and and they don't listen to me anyways, nobody listens to me. I would trade a fifth or sixth round pick for Dak Prescott this offseason and take that big contract because that's what the that's what the cow. I mean, Dak Prescott would be a first round. He would be worth a first round pick or two first round picks if he didn't if he had a normal contract. Yeah, but you're. You're you're taking on that big contract. If I was at Giants or Carolina, I would much rather have a Dak Prescott than Bryce Young. Yes, yeah. Or or or, or or drafting Shador or Carson Beck or Quinn Ewers, because I've watched a lot of college football this year, and none of them kids. The kid at Miami looks like the best quarterback. Cam Ward. He looks like a, he's he, a stud. he's my favorite one out of. He, those. And, and so someone would be really good to get him. Shador Sanders is not on that track at all. No. I guess the uh, ball boy at Texas Tech. Did you see that video? Yeah, I got a little fired up watching that one. Not the, a, the kid probably shouldn't have slapped the ball out of his hand. I don't think he did, though. Yeah, he yeah. does. Watch it. He's trying to get the ball. Oh, he did. Just He's just trying to do his job. That right there is but, why I wouldn't draft that kid. Look at this. They didn't show the other part, though. I'm going to try to find that one. Yeah, that one. Where the kid cusses at him, the brother. Yeah, the guy that's not even a player or anything. Was confronted by Shador Fucker. Sanders and Deion I don't want to hear your Jr. fucking commentary. After Sanders scoop and score sealed the victory for Colorado. Junior, who clearly didn't like him trying to grab the he's ball, he's like vlogging or something. And he's the, the the kid pushing. Sorry for the n word, people. Yeah. I know All there's right. no rules against that if someone black says it. No, I know that, but we're, it we're hurt, good it, it hurts. It hurt people's ears. So Bucky anyway. Sanders sticking up. Who the hell names your kid Bucky? <laughs> Bucky <laughs> Sanders sticking. Dion smarter than that. <clears throat> so. Bucky, if I, this kid could file charges on Bucky. Who's Bucky? The kid that pushed him. Dion's oldest son. The uh, unathletic one. Oh, I didn't know that was a Sanders. Yeah. yeah that's, a, that's one of his boys. Yeah. He, could get, he could have charges filed. Now, I would think it would be chicken shit. I would laugh that kid would have cold cocked his ass. <laughs> that would have been funny as shit. Could you imagine that, knocking his ass out? <laughs> what? I mean, I've never, obviously, never okay. been the Texas Tech it, ball boy, but. Okay. The you tech, get the ball back. <clears throat> the, yes, yeah, so you have. Each team gets its own balls. That was their ball. I understand it was a pick six or a yes. fumble or something. So like that. yes, that was their ball, and he was going to get the <clears throat> ball from him and, and, and grabbing it. And I, I don't understand. I don't know how you do that. So Shador is number two, right? Yeah. Either that that ball boy's big, or Shador's not a very big guy, is he? I don't know because there ain't much difference, and he's got pads on. Yeah, and then the old, and cleats and old Bucky. I guess he's the unathletic Dion son, huh? Yeah, he's just holding the camera. It's not, oh it's, yeah, he does have the camera right there. I see yeah. it now. Now has Dion yeah. made a comment on this at all? I don't know. Anyway, and more that. reason why everybody outside of Boulder, Colorado, hates the Colorado <clears throat> Buffaloes mm -hmm. now. Exactly for shit, yeah. just like that. Nobody wants to see that crap. Anyways, now I listened to the talk radio this morning, and it's Colorado is a lock to get in the college football playoffs. I don't think they can beat BYU. I don't think they get in the playoffs, and I don't think they want to be in the playoffs. There's no way they can play with the the, the good back Big Ten teams or the SEC. The SEC teams would kill them because yeah. they play no defense and they have no offensive line. Like <laughs> I think if they played Texas, Georgia, Ole Miss, Alabama, I think the score would be Get somewhere. Smoked. Yeah, they're five touchdown underdogs on them game. Yeah. They can't play with those teams. Mm -mm. That razzle dazzle offense he runs and that wide open stuff. There was a they used to call the run and shoot. The University of Houston played back in the day, and that's what they did. And nobody was used to it. Well. They just a, they're just a fast NASCAR paced offense, but they have no defense, and I, I don't expect much from them. But as a Dallas Cowboy hater, I hope they do sign Dion if they don't McCarthy, <laughs> and I hope they draft Shador, and I hope they cut Dak because I think Dak is not a bad quarterback. He has absolutely one receiver to throw through, yeah, and no offensive line, yeah. And Dallas is he play? I'll tell you somebody the Cowboys have that I hate that they have is that Overshawn kid. He's a freaking stud. Oh yeah, the kid from Texas. Yeah, Woo! yeah, He's speed everywhere. He might be better than Micah. Mm. Micah, Micah disappears in big games. That kid's a gamer. He can get to the he can get to the quarterback though, Micah. He and that's what he does. Yeah, but you can run right at him. Would you pay Micah thirty million a year? I'd rather trade him for two first round picks. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're they're stuck. They can't afford to keep him. Yeah, because we're gonna have to pay him thirty plus mil. Would you keep the Diggs guy? No, yeah, Diggs is my 
He's on my shit list on yeah. the Cowboys right now. He's a lot, a lot of a lot of talks. I've been talking about that. He's he soft. Cut yeah, but he's not. He he got all them interceptions that year. Then he got hurt, and then they gave him a big contract. Yeah. Jerry falls in love with his players. I think that's his problem. He yeah, does not know how. It's not a business, and it he, and it shows. Yeah. One of the guys that's playing for the Redskins now that used to be with Dallas was talking about that the difference between being in Washington, who's been terrible until this year. He said the professionalism. He said the Cowboy games, they have players just coming there. People come through tours through their locker rooms and all kinds of stuff all the time. He goes, it's not like that here. It's about football. Yeah, right. It's about a show in Dallas. Mm -hmm. well, I hope the Cowboys keep it up. If it's going to be like this all year long, I wish it was a 30-game season because I would love that. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for listening to us. God bless you all. Have a great day. Peace out. Watch for deer. Thank you.